women in the computing field, we felt the need to address the fact that so many astonishing milestones were done within our field by women. We know, we all know that there's been amazing, brilliant women throughout history. It's just been a matter of how we told the story or, or the fact that we just didn't tell any stories about them. We wanted to highlight and celebrate those unknown women who changed the trajectory of the future. One amongst many is a data visualization installation representing women who have had monumental achievements in computing history. We imagined a field of lights, each representing a different woman who innovated in her field of technology. Inside each orb is a short description of each woman and her accomplishments in the field. Every time they pick up one of the women's lights and read about her, she grows a little bit brighter and brighter and brighter until at the very end, all of the women are brightly lit. Hi, my name is Shirley and I'm an independent designer and software engineer focused on creating data-driven art and visualizations for the web. Hi, I'm Tina and I'm a designer with a specialization in visual user experience and user interaction design in both physical and digital spaces. I'm Christina, I'm a designer and illustrator with experience in museums and education. We chose to work on this topic because all three of us came to computing in a different way, um, but all of us shared the experience of feeling isolated as a woman in the field. So through this project, I really wanted to showcase and highlight these amazing women, not only so that we can learn about them, but so that younger women can learn about them and find the role models within them and be inspired to know that they can achieve any brilliant, amazing things and achieve any dream within the field of their choice. We gathered the data set by scraping a Wikipedia article of women in computing and manually transcribing a summary of their accomplishments as well as a year of accomplishment. We then narrowed the list of women down to the 16 that we collectively found the most inspiring. As Shirley began on the code, Tina and I began sourcing materials. For our enclosures, we initially considered glass orbs or magnification, um, but ultimately we settled on large, fillable Christmas ornaments. This was the best solution because they were affordable, easily accessible, and you can also open and close them without disturbing any of the electronics inside. All the orbs are lined with iridescent cellophane sheets using hot glue. To detect interaction, we used a tilt sensor that would activate whenever a person lifted the orb past a certain angle and wrote Arduino code to control the NeoPixel inside the orb and stagger and fade its brightness depending on the interaction. We decided that the two elements can share one ground, so that left us with four different wires in each orb. To accommodate for these connections that needed to run down from the ceiling, we decided on the RJ11 telephone jacks and cords. There was a lot of soldering within this process. Because the tilt switch needed to sit at a perfect 90 degree angle in order to stay off when it's not being interacted with, we soldered on 90 degree angled pin headers onto all of the tilt switches and the neopixels. We placed each of these women in a field from the earliest to the most recent of accomplishments and determined their heights based on the number of other Wikipedia articles that mentioned them. So we thought of that as kind of how well known they were. So the more well known that they were, the higher up that they would be placed and more out of reach. And the less well known that they were, the closer to us they would be placed and thus more easily accessible so that we can encourage people reading about them more. We grouped our honored women into four different subcategories, including mathematicians, computer scientists, creatives, and others, which includes the likes of executives and activists. We also created a sticker board that would allow the audience to leave a piece of themselves behind after viewing our installation. We 
wanted people to feel like they were contributing to a history and that there were women who came before them and women who will come after them. Each of the four cohorts of women has their own abstract illustration. These four illustrations were also used on the summary board where people could place themselves within those cohorts. Once we edited and designed all the women's biographical information, we laser cut them on acrylic and inlaid the panels with Sharpie. A 3D model of the entire installation was created on Rhino, and that really helped us with the exact measurements of all of the orbs and their placements. Installation for the winter show was pretty hectic, but thanks to a lot of meticulous planning before anything even started, we were in pretty good shape, and it went off without a hitch. We carried eight foot long wood planks from Home Depot onto the subway, which was a really crazy and fun experience. Using the 3D model as a measurement guide, I numbered each wood plank, drilled holes into them, and wired each phone cord in accordingly, measuring exactly how long each one had to be based on our data. To suspend these planks, we drilled holes and wired in zip ties to hang them off of the exposed pipes that were already on the ceilings. We mounted the Arduino Mega to one of the planks that was hanging in from the ceiling so that the electronics is pretty much out of sight during the exhibition. We mapped out the lengths of cord that we needed in order for all of the wires to reach the Arduino Mega ahead of time. After putting up all of the planks with phone cords and jacks attached, we then connected the jacks onto our Arduino wires and each orb onto the phone cords. Everything had to be pre-labeled to make sure that we were making the correct connections. You can't really see it in the time lapse, but after Tina and I spent hours installing the planks and connecting the orbs and putting all the wires together, when we turned it on to power and they all turned on perfectly, Tina and I both screamed and hugged because it was amazing. <laughs> Mothers brought their daughters to the installation and discussed which orb was their favorite. We also had so many women come to thank us for finally making our gender more visible. The response to the project was really overwhelming and really satisfying. I think every person who put a sticker up on the board felt like they were a little less alone. 